Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Upper Hill, the city of Skyline in Nairobi, Kenya, Africa. Upper Hill is a prominent neighborhood in Nairobi, known for its mix of residential, commercial, and institutional developments. It is a home to several notable towers and skyscrapers, which include Britam Tower, Prism Tower, KCB Tower, ETH Tower, and many more. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. To my regular subscribers, thank you for always coming to watch my videos. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and share it to your friends and families. Lock in and watch this video till the end. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city of skyscrapers. This is Upper Hill, Nairobi. It is one of those suburbs that has skyscrapers. So many of them. So stay tuned and enjoy the best views in Upper Hill. The current situation, the road is under construction. It's not yet done. I think I remaining with some parts. But after completion, it's going to look great. This is Upper Hill, guys. Look at this palm tree. How did this uh, survive here? This NHIF building right here. Right here we have Kenya National Library Services. This is the headquarters of the Kenya National Library. Remember this place right now, it is used as a, most of the offices are located in this area. Offices, uh, health services, so many things are in this area. So the offices that are here, this RB house, most probably this with land. Because I is land or art. This is First Avenue Ngong, Ngong Road. So the building that I, was, I just showed there, that is RV House. It is a land, deals with land. The Minister of Land and Planning. So that is where you can check your land number and probably things like uh, uh, title deeds. Yeah, when you want to buy a land, that's where you can come and check the number of the land, the owner. Yeah, just do your due diligence before buying. The environment here is cool, man. I'm telling you. Uh, there we have tourism fund building. That is the building it concerns tourism in Kenya. 
And this is the entrance to the building right here. Right here we have 88 Nairobi coming up. This thing is going to be massive. Look at the height. It's going to be the African dream. African tallest. 24th floor complete. I'm telling you. That is the height of 88. That is the current tower in in uh, Upper Hill. In terms of height, it is beating every tower in Nairobi. A residential tower with 24s. So where 88 is? Then we have an amazing architect building that is Prism Tower. Right there, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is Prism Tower. So it kind of seems that 88 has come to beat Prism Tower. But now, in terms of architect, Prism Tower is something else. You can't compare Prism Tower with any 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 building currently. Yeah, these are residential areas. Amity Court. So back in the days, uh, this upper hill was used as a residential area by the British. British elites, yeah, during the colony time so if you had if you are in position or you are in power and you have money definitely you will choose to stay at this place just because it is near to the Nairobi CBD and it's calmer and the environment here is cooler I'm telling you look at this this is all upper hill Prism is back there. Prism power. This Gong Road, one of the busiest roads we have here. And right now we are going to this hostel road. Basically, it's hostel road because of the Kenyatta, Kenyatta National Hostel. So this road was named after Kenyatta Hostel. That is one of the referral hostels we have in Kenya. After 1960s independence, that is when this upper hill transformed as more businesses an institution came in here. They were actually moving to this place because it is near Nairobi CBD. Now that transformed this place to be a hub for cooperative offices, educational facilities, and institution. Now this is what you are seeing here in Harper Hill. Yeah, man. Hill is such a cool place, I'm telling you. I like the fact that as much as they do have these skyscrapers here, there's no noise. Noise is limit in this area. You could even hear some birds singing in some streets. 
Look at, for example, this street. You can literally hear the bird. I think this is the first, uh, the first place that I have seen these tolls. Because the way I was uh, going around, I haven't seen them anywhere. But now I can see them here. Small shops. The stores, they are also doing business here. But now you understand in this area, most of the people are from the offices. So I don't know if to them the business is doing here. That one I can't tell that much. Because most of the places where these businesses are doing good is where the population is so crowded and so chaotic. That's why you have massive movement of the people, man, to these shops. But now here, they are, most of the people are there from offices. And some of them, at least a good number of them, they are driving. So from office, maybe to, uh, for a lunch break, after lunch break, then after lunch break is home time, evening, evening that's when you go home. So I don't think if they do shopping here or what normally goes on here. So here I have Savannah Hospital. Savannah Hospital is right there. Blue Shield Towers. Every building here is a tower. And Britain is right there. Right there. That is where you get Britain. Britain, you know, is a, is a bank. And here you have NCBA Bank. Upper Hill is actually host so many headquarters for banks. It's like every bank, they have their headquarters here in Upper Hill. So I don't know why they chose Upper Hill to be their headquarters. Is it that the place is so secured? Because I've never had any cases of insecurity in this area. Never had. SBA, Britam. We also have Equity, Cooperative. And also here I can see um, very many kiosks here. And this is the building here, Britam. We all can see that architect. And also after Britain we have Equity, we also have KCB, all of these are banks. And this is Equity, and right there we have KCB. Their head office, located in Upper Hill. This is Upper Link Road, right here. So Upper Hill has really, really seen significant development, man. By the buildings and how you, these buildings are coming up. So recently, these people have been, in the recent years, have been building these skyscrapers at least to replace the, those old structures. Now that's why you see Upper Hill is a city of skyscrapers, man. Every street you are going to find these skyscrapers, not even one or two, like literally at least every building. Out of 10, at least five to six are all skyscrapers.
to access Upper Hill, at least most of the people here use uh, personal cars or Ubers. But when we want to access Upper Hill with the public transport, then what you ought to do is I get those matatus that are coming to Kenyatta National Hospital. Those are the ones that are at least near or they will drop you in Upper Hill. But other than that, personal cars and Ubers only. Look at this around about how clean it is and this is the KCB towers So here you have Talanta Plaza. This is actually is a project of the government dealing with talents. Just started uh, recently operating in Upper Hill. Guys, check this out. One thing I like about this place is as much as they have built skyscrapers every street, they're also taking care of the environment. Like literally every street is clean and they are planting plants, yeah? flowers and trees, making at least the place to look more greener, more cooler, more cleaner, and just more beautiful. <laughs> cleanliness is closer to godliness, and cleanliness is closer to upper hill. <laughs> upper hillness, I'm telling you. This is the vibe that you are going to get here. Such a cool place and very clean. Ah, uh, guys, you remember I told you the British colony used to live here, or uh, used to uh, this this place, Upper Hill, was a residential area for them, for the Allied people. Now here on this road, that is Upper Hill Road. We have British Commission. The officers are right there. So I couldn't uh, record because it is prohibited. So this is a home of British. And they have such a huge, huge office, British uh, Council office. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Uh, that was about Upper Hill. Right now I'm in Uru Park. This is Uru Park. So this is the Uru Park. This is actually a park just near Upper Hill just a walking distance when you leave upper hill is the privilege that you have just a park in the neighborhood so when the when you are at home 
and the free boat. Just come on to Uru Park and enjoy, relax. Just have a nature walk here and also relax and feel the environment. So basically, entrance here is free. All what you need to have is the, at least your ID. Uh, if you are a Kenyan citizen and if you are outside or a tourist, what you need to have is a passport or a driving license. So thank you guys for watching and make sure to like this video. Guys, also comment and share it to your families and friends. Thank you so much. Until next time.